All right, so we don't really need to worry about the periods too much, the dots. I don't really use them too often. They just help you to work with the nodes. However, what is important is this at symbol, which helps you to select attributes. You guys remember attributes in HTML are things that look like this, right? This body and whatever. So let's scroll up here and work with this link. You guys see how this link has an attribute right here, which is an ID and that it has a value. So actually, when I clicked on this link, the X path that was created for me using fire path inside of Firebug is perfect. So right, look what it did. It went through all of the tags. I don't even need that dot there went through all of the tags. And then regardless of what that tag was, that's what this star symbol means inside of these brackets, we can specify an attribute, which is ID and ask for its value like that. If you supply something that doesn't exist like this and hit enter, it doesn't select anything, but something that's correct with an ID of simple elements link that works. You guys see that? If I wanted a different attribute like href, and you guys can see all of this is inside of the opening tag, right? So if I copy this href, and then instead of ID, it's gonna be href, okay? And then this, I can supply that value and hit enter. It selects the same thing, but just using a different property. You guys see that? If I wanted to work with this clickable icon, we can look at the HTML right here, right? And it is what a tag, which means it's a link. And then it has a target attribute, an href attribute, and then it has some text inside of it. I will use this href and call it icon success, copy over that. And so we'll replace all of this, remove all of that stuff. And the attribute is href. And then the value of that href is this. And then we'll hit enter. And it selected two things. You guys see that, right? This one and this one, which is cool because both of them have an href of icon success. And yes, that's possible. Our identifier doesn't care what tag it is. That's why there's this wild character here. And then for that tag, it sets these parameters, which is a href of icon success, but we have two of those. So how can we pick the one we want is we can probably pick the first one like that. And that still doesn't help us. We can probably go to the parent and instead of a div, we can do the H4. So here, instead of the star is going to be H4 and then for the H4, Inside of that, there lives a A, so we need to do a slash A, and now hit enter, and that selects only our clickable icon text. You guys see that? Because we dug to the parent, and inside of the parent, there lives a child called A tag, and that A tag, we want to use it, the href icon success. Otherwise, if we wanted to get to this guy, we can use a div here, div, Inside of the div, we have an A that lives and then the A has some properties as well. See that? And now using this hierarchy, we were able to pinpoint one of these elements.